welcome back. I'm Dark Saiyan, and we are back at Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. <clears throat> now, I was going to leave this video too, just to get the spinch going, but I kept. I was killing me. The Spence was killing me. I wanted to see what happens to what happens at the end. So yeah, you guys. So just loading in the screen. Also, well, well, it's loading up. I'd like to thank everybody that's. I joined in with the live streams and made it this far to watching all the, the series because I've enjoyed it and also some of you have enjoyed it in this comments but here we are it's where we started it's never our end goal so let's go <clears throat> We'll, we'll go for Valis Tower one, yeah. Okay, I'm 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 gonna go for. <clears throat> we'll go for Valis Tower one first, and then we'll make it to the big one. Whoa. That's something to do. With... What's that? Velocity, maybe? I okay, see all for all the guys that are smarter than me out there. You just can tell me if you'd recognize any signs. Ask. So this is what sh Kate was doing herself? Oh, that's a dead bird. <laughs> so V equals T0. No, sorry, V equals what? What am I about? So she tried to find an algorithm and find, uh, find basically use her sciencey knowledge to see what it was. I'm gonna hope. On the plane, Stephen leaned across me and pointed out the window. Down there, he said, that's home. But all I saw were patches of color. I don't think until this moment that I understood that one could contain the other so completely. <clears throat> so, this is all key. The hell? So I can't play it again. So I need to be careful what I'm doing. Can't mess with anything. <clears throat> but this is so cool. I've enjoyed it. Like the past few series, actually not the whole series from the start, it took me by surprise. I mean the music, the atmosphere, the lighting, everything. I mean. I just hope it like keeps up its game up towards the end. What is this? What the hell is that? Is that the light? <laughs> Mask or a butterfly? But yeah. What? What was she doing here? <clears throat> Helping the door. Well, that was a, that's a weird trap. There, that was weird. I opened the door there, I was like, no. Mm. So there's something. Like, what is that? Like, can't, 
on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember the right word for it. I don't know. I'll probably, I'll probably somebody, somebody could help in the comments below. That helps so much. So there's no light. There's not. Okay, let's play this. I watched a butterfly dancing in a strip of sunlight. All of its life contained in a single day. The blink of an eye between the ebb of the darkening tide. Lying there with the pattern curled around me, I saw the inevitability, the necessity of presence born from absence, the constant unfolding. <clears throat> wow. That was deep. Never knew she was philosophical. That's the right word I'm using. If not, then. Feel free to correct me in the comments, you know. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's, we're going to the big one. We're going to actually find out what Kate did in this. Is it. I don't know if it's this one, is it? Hmm. Oh, no, it's not. It's, and that big one over there. We're basically <clears throat> going to find out what Kate was doing all this time. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, let me know if the volume's too low. But what Kate was doing all this time while everybody was dying and she was locked in here. So I need to walk backwards. I need to come out that way. Or that door opens, hopefully. There's more algorithms. <clears throat> and more drawings. I'm guessing that's where all the birds died. She did a... She put a lot of work into this. Look at this, man. That's so cool. I mean, I might not understand it, but... It's just so cool to see... <coughs> somebody's work. How much time they spent into it. To put into it. Can I actually use this? Oh, that'd be so cool if I could. <clears throat> okay, so let's let's. That's the light. That's the light was falling us the whole time. Or showing us the whole time. Okay, we can't go up, so I'm guessing we just have to stay here. So let's let's just last one. Explain why Lizzie tried to leave with her child and why it was wrong to stop her. I try and explain that much of what it did was wrong. It shows me Stephen and Lizzie together. And I'm happy for them. Frank walks his fields with Mary. Wendy and Edward nest together in the orchards of their love. Jeremy lies at peace with his God at last. All of them are happy because they are together. I understand it better now. It is a collector of time. No butterflies. Of butterflies? So I'm, I may be wrong, but I'm wait, wait, let's let's make that something here, okay? So the music is so loud there. Um to collect our time <clears throat> and stop it partners so this is saying that it's either this is what I'm getting from it I mean I will be wrong I know I'm, this is just going on from what I'm hearing so everybody that partners basically it was picking off partners like people that were in love that had feelings for each other Um, they were picking off them, and that either the thing could tell that if one was in love or one was with somebody, and it was taking them both and keeping them in that moment, like I said in the last episode, that um, <clears throat> you know what I mean? um, it basically took them and kept them in that one good moment 
or that one period of time that they were either either in a good um good memory or a bad memory and they'd keep on living that <coughs> or the fact is it either or this is my second one it's basically it either um either took them because they were feeling a certain emotion and it and it wanted to help or either um it either wanted to help or you know change that mood and it was taking them for the better i'm not sure but that's what i'm going with so yeah let's continue <clears throat> right, i think it's, it's hard to explain because like this game and like that, that's one of the f troubles about games when you have to interact with stuff to get the story because you don't actually get the full story because you sometimes miss out things actually you miss out a lot of things there's a lot of things you can miss out and that can lead to that can sometimes you get the wrong side of the story or you miss part of the story that gives you a wrong part of it or makes you feel think something that's not actually part of the story so what, what's going on here so what am I doing here? This just... I don't know what this is doing, but... I'm gonna follow it. I'm gonna follow it. So this is... Four. Wait, we're still not near the observatory yet? The observatory's... All the way behind there, really? Okay then. Let's see what's done here. That's so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Oh, they're... That's like the... Northern Lights, the Aurora, wait is that the lights there? Yeah? The Aurora Borealis, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly but, oh well. <clears throat> so what is happening here? Why is there a sudden fade of light? What? Okay then. <laughs> slow to almost nothing I saw the flame leap from Stephen's hand and the moment hang in the air forever I watched his face and in the last second I almost believe he saw me he wasn't frightened or angry I remember his expression just like I remember it from the first time Early that morning, when he woke and still half sleeping, said, God, I love you. And I loved him as he entered the fire. And I let him go, knowing I wasn't ready to join him. We have held time to ourselves here in this place, held the light to the ground because we were afraid of the coming dark. But now we understand that to cling to the light is not living. I've spent my life watching the illumination from a million dead stars reaching for me without grasping this meaning. The light we cast transcends our death. The pattern made by our living creates a bridge across the dark. Whoa. This music's really getting to me. It's starting to feel fuzzy, and, not fuzzy, but starting to get shakes in my spine, get goosebumps and stuff. Music's so beautiful, man. I wish I could play this forever. Oh, they should. My condolences. My condolences. Props to the. A designer and maker of this game, man. The creator of this game. They have got some imagination on them. <clears throat> I mean, look how beautiful it, this is. This is by far the best and most beautiful game I've ever played. Like, I, I don't really play a lot of these games, but I played a, quite a few. <clears throat> I 
Actually, wait, I don't play more uh, interaction games, but I play quite a bit of first person and all that. But these have got to be the best gra like graphics and everything by far. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Graphics by far, like I've ever seen in any game whatever whatsoever. The story is brilliant. Like it's kept me going. I mean, it's probably kept you going. I mean, this not for me to say, but this game has kept me going and watching. So yeah, uh, so this is all formulas now. I don't know if I'm upside down. I mean, look how beautiful that is. Uh, I don't know if that's going meant to be Rachel and she was writing all this. Or oh wait, is that the light still to show me? I've yet to go all the way over there to that big observatory. Just now I'm doing the Valis one to five. Valis observatories one to five. I don't know if there's any more, but us here. It reaches out from the shadow of the tower, across the observatory, over the valley, and consumes the world. Everything is light now. Everything has come to rest. The world is scored by the traces we carved into it. Our presence is everywhere. The bridge joining our stories. This world existed before we came to it, and it will continue without us. In the empty fields and houses, our traces radiate, and others will come to dance in the light we cast. We can slip away gently, unafraid, knowing that everything will continue. So, she tried to get his attention to the TVs. So I'm getting, so you put all the TVs here, so you could just gather the light in one place and literally just observe it. Because uh, like, because she did say that it was passing with the lines and the TVs and stuff. <coughs> That's what I'm get, I got from it. It's my perception of, my, my perception from it. So yeah, let's move on to the last one. So she did, she did do a lot, she was... I'd actually like to beat this game. That's how, that's how in love with this game I am. Such a beautiful scene, man. I've, I mean, sh should that be the thumbnail for this game, man? Let me know. <clears throat> let's carry on, but let's head towards our journey's end. So beautiful, but like, I know you're gonna be like, a oh, shut up, dark scene. You've been playing the game for a while. Shop about this game, but really, like, it's so much detail. Like, the hell, so much detail in this game that I've never noticed. Like, I've never been a proper gamer till now. Like, till I started doing YouTube, and I, like, the games I play have made me. I opened my eyes a bit more because I because I wear he use my headphones and everything it can it gives you that ambiance as if you're there okay, like you need a, a decent pair of headset I mean I'm not gonna tell you like what ones when I mean, you can get any pair as long as they are decent and <coughs> surround sound that's brilliant so here you go let's see the oh we actually got a picture of that I don't know. that's the observatory she was in she was Checking lights out there in the galaxy somewhere. So yeah, let's go in. Let's go meet Kate. Let's see, go see Kate's fate. Ah oh, man, that was such a tongue twister. What? Oh god. Whoa. Us.
the hell's happening? <coughs> right, here we go. The end is coming now. I'm not afraid. We have each other. We lived apart from them. We understand now our failure to touch, to belong. But it doesn't matter anymore. Everybody is gone, and we will join them. We are born apart, driftwood on the banks of an endless dark ocean, and we will be carried away by the swell soon enough. But in between, in the single day of living, that dancing in a strip of sunlight, we can find what we miss. The love that makes us whole. The imminence. Everybody found their other. This pattern is mine. Wow. Jesus. Oh, what? Is that it? Oh, my God. The Chinese room, that's the creator's one. Oh, man, that was so good, that game was, man. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoyed that. Like, If you, if you are, like, just tuning in, before you watch this episode, well, <laughs> I should have said this before I started the game, but... Before you wreck the episode, go go back and watch it from the start to understand this point. Like, understand it to this point. I love that game. Like, I gotta give it to the the creator of this game. Like, all the workers, the work that went into this game. Everyone is brilliant. Like, students at University of Aberdeen, like Hertfordshire and University of Portsmouth. Props, man. Like, I'm not one to brag about games and game design but that one just touched me so much it actually involved me into the with the characters I actually got to know the characters and obviously that that bond with the characters oh man I don't know what to say but other than like this game is brilliant like I don't know how much it is like when I, uh, now, but I would rec I would advise you to try this game if you are if you are looking for like a good game to play. Uh, it's about cut about eight hours long. Yeah, and the Chinese rooms that was brilliant, man. I think these are the same guys that did the um. Not sure now. The music's too loud. Ugh. <laughs> God's sake. Alright, what was I saying? Um, ah, I forgot now. So, ah, oh, damn, I forgot. Never mind. Okay, so thanks for watching. If you like, if you want me to do more games like this, please uh, leave comments below. Or leave suggestions. Because. I absolutely love this and I'd actually love to play more games like this for you guys. I'm up for any suggestions that, uh, you know within reason of what saying, you know, like all this other stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you do like the video, please leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, punch the subscribe button and so you can uh, sorry punch the subscribe button so you can see when I'm next streaming and you can see more games like this in the future if you want so yeah and leave comments below and check out the other channels on my home page because uh, those are awesome guys as well they all have a unique talent on youtube and they are all you know it's free you just go to a channel they'll show you their talent i mean and that's it just watch it enjoy um and leave a like 
you know, give, give your uh, least suggestions of how you think it went, what could have been better. And, you know, just, you know, it's nice to be nice. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't know if there's any more to this game. <coughs> so, I will cut it out if need be, but if. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in my next episode. Peace.